iOS 26 comes with some brand new features and changes. Sometimes, this many features can be a bit overwhelming, and if you're struggling with battery life on your iPhone with this version of iOS, I'll share some settings that will definitely help you to get amazing battery life without compromising a lot of features. The first setting that you should check out has been introduced by Apple itself. For that, go to Settings, then Battery, choose Power Mode, and make sure these options are turned on. The first one is adaptive power and the second one is adaptive power notifications. So what this basically does is when the battery usage by some apps is consistently high, Apple will make performance adjustment without compromising on user experience. So instead of a quick battery drain from that app, Apple will try to limit the drain using this setting. This is a new option introduced in iOS 26, so do check it out. Then go back and tap on charging. If you want to keep your iPhone's battery health at 100% for a long time, then limit the charging to 80%. This will limit the rapid aging of your iPhone's battery and you can get a good resale value when you're selling it later on. But if your preference is for a top-notch battery life, then keep it to 100% and make sure optimized charging is enabled. Next tip is to turn on dark mode. Using dark mode on iPhone will help a lot because with dark mode, all those pixels are turned off while the same pixels are turned on with a white display. Then you can leave the rest of these settings as they are. Now scroll down and make sure auto lock is set to 30 seconds. And if you don't use always on display, turn it off as it uses a lot of battery. Keep auto brightness turned on because the system will automatically lower the brightness indoors. I have turned on display pulse smoothing. This will give me a smooth display with less flicker. If you get eye strain by using your phone frequently, then I'll suggest enabling this option. To enable this option, go to settings. Then accessibility. Now tap on display and text, scroll down and you will see. Display pulse smoothing, just enable this option. The only downside is you won't get a super dim display, but the lowest brightness when this option is turned on is still good. So make sure to try out these settings. Next setting that you should check out is background app refresh. In settings, scroll down and tap on general, then choose background app refresh. This basically means every app on your iPhone uses some data to refresh for any incoming notification. Right now, it is set to Wi-Fi and cellular data, but you can change it to just Wi-Fi. This can make a huge difference if you use your phone a lot on cellular. If you don't want that haptic feedback every time you interact with your iPhone, I'll recommend turning it off because that uses a lot of battery. For that, go to settings, you scroll down and tap on sounds and haptics. Now you'll see system haptics right here. Just turn off this option. Your iPhone is consistently searching for that Siri keyword. If you don't use Siri a lot, which is, by the way, an average digital assistant from Apple, you can turn off that option. In Settings, choose Apple Intelligence and Siri, tap on Talk and type to Siri, and now turn off this option. This way, you can save a bit more battery on your iPhone and you can still use Siri by long pressing the side key. At the end, the final resort is the low power mode. I'll suggest adding a quick toggle in control center so you can turn on and off low power mode whenever you want. For that, long press in control center, tap on. Add a control and now you'll see low power mode. Just add it. So those were some of the main settings that you can try out to get maximum battery life from your iPhone. Do check them out and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting more cool content soon.